I'm Katie and I'm here on behalf of expertvillage.com and I'm going to show you how to do legato tonguing on the French horn. Here you see a series of legato marks and they are these long lines above the note. And those lines remind you that the note lengths are going to be as long as possible, almost but not quite connected. Now, all that legato means is that the tonguing for these notes is going to be very smooth, okay, very long and very smooth. But unlike in, slur, in slurs, there is going to be a slight break in between the notes. They are not going to be completely connected with air. So one thing to think about that might help you when you're imagining legato tonguing is to think of a paintbrush and how a painter might go one way and then goes the other. That's just a slight motion of picking up the brush and starting another direction, okay? So nice and smooth like that. If I were to play a legato scale, it would sound like this. You can hear that the notes are all very long, they are almost connected, but there's slight separation. You can hear how long they are if you can compare that to maybe normal articulation, which would sound like this. Legato tonguing connects those notes a little bit more, but you still use your tongue to stop the last note and start the next one. And that's how legato tonguing is done.